Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jolie, and um, today we're going to read from One Day at a Time in Al Anon. And today's date is March 31st. So, this is added to the library of all the other readings for the 365 days we have in the year. Um, today's reading, um, we also have on um, another video on this channel is hope for today and courage to change. So I wanted to add this one so that I can keep updated and keep reading for myself because I need it. So this will be on page 91 and I'm grateful that you're here with me today. So here we go. March 31st. Oddly enough, many of the things we learn in Al-Anon add up to this. Be good to yourself. That's the counsel to be drawn from Al-Anon's reminder to live only one day at a time. It teaches us to toss aside the unhappy memories of the past and to save ourselves the pain of imagining what will happen tomorrow. Again, it teaches us to toss aside the unhappy memories of the past and to save ourselves from the pain of imagining what will happen tomorrow. We can't do anything about either one. We are being good to ourselves when we refuse to be disturbed by anything the alcoholic or addict says or does. We can do this if we remember that the attacks on us only give vent to their own agonizing guilt. We can do this if we remember that the attacks on us only give vent to their own agonizing guilt. So we're being good to ourselves when we help others and when we fill our lives with pleasant and rewarding activities. Like today I'm in the kitchen and I'm making my salad that uh, lasts for a few days. It's fennel and all different kinds of citrus and celery. And it has uh, rice vinegar and olive oil. I think that's it, right? Oh, it also has some that purple onion. And with the purple onion, you put it in an ice bath so that it takes away that, that, um, that tangent thing that, you know, kind of gives you like that feeling of it's where it's too strong. So if you put it, if the, when you slice the onions, uh, the red onions, the red or purple, if you put them in an ice bath, then it takes away that extreme onion thing, but it also um, preserves the vitamins. So I'm doing something rewarding, my pleasant activity, because I know like, I'm so like happy when I make it. So I have it all ready to go. That's why I'm here in my kitchen. So today's reminder, beginning today, right this minute, I will be good to myself right now. I will not allow myself to drown in the whirlpool of distressed thinking about alcoholism and its results. Confidence and hope will immunize me. That sounds wonderful. So. There's a quote and it says, I pray for help to fulfill my responsibility to myself. Only then can I help others. Thank you for that reading. One day at a time in Alana. So that reminds me that um, what somebody says, uh, I heard in uh, several meetings and it says, you can't give what you don't have. So like if you don't have peace of mind, you can't exude that or give that or participate in, um, you know, or, you know, like conversations or taking on responsibilities for family and friends and for ourselves, if we're not content in some shape or form, if we're allowing the, um, the outside influences come in and just shake our world like a whirlwind or a whirlpool, like it says, then we're all over the place. Everything's like, oh no, what about, this is going to happen again, you know, like um, exaggerating our troubles until they overwhelm us. Um, never helped me any, except for 
made me feel like I was the only person in this dramatic movie that I couldn't get out of. And so Alan has helped me to realize that I'm not the only one, so I'm not alone. I can connect with others when I go to meetings and when I talk to you guys, when you guys comment in, in the comments, I really appreciate that. That helps my, my recovery and I know that it helps yours. So, you know, let's, uh, and then here it says, be good to yourself. And how does, what does that mean? Like, I didn't know what that even meant when I came, first came to Alan and I was like, what do you mean? I always felt guilty if I was taking care of myself. You know, like, how about just feeling good that you can take care of yourself, you know, like taking that walk or spending time with your animal, you know, you like connecting, you know, brushing, um, just talking to them, feeling connected and happy, grateful, that feeling of grace and great, um, feeling grateful is nice, making sure you eat good food, like, you know, making yourself a citrus salad so that you can have it throughout the week. Um, make sure you get enough water, clean, clean water and fats like avocado and nut butter, which I love together, which is really good. I was actually having some before. So I'm going to make sure that I have some good brain food. And um, yeah, and when we're, when it's, when we're not feeling okay, it's okay to not feel okay. And then we have people we can talk to and they can say, you know, maybe write a gratitude list and this way you can see the mundane things that you're thankful for. Like I'm thankful that I'm able to have a kitchen to work in. I'm grateful that I have a sweet animal, my cat, little moon. I'm grateful that I have, I'm able to have a conversation with my kids, you know, um, and that just takes one day at a time. You know, we can, yeah, not to exaggerate our troubles and we can just maybe listen, learn how to listen to others by serving. That's by serving others. We can listen to others if we're having some type of gratitude and contentment within ourselves. So and we can do that when we take care of ourselves, you know, we have to be able to like, if we have a headache, take some Tylenol, take a nap, put some cold, you know, a compress on your head, you know, like, I don't know, just that's, those are the things that, that work for me and my experience and um, yeah, not to feel too overwhelmed by it. So be good to ourselves. When we are also being good to ourselves when we refuse to be disturbed by anything that the alcoholic or addict or um, narcissistic behaviored person in our life Maybe it's a, an ex person, like a, somebody who used to be in our life that's not so much anymore, or a coworker who has like, you know, drama over drama, and you just kind of have to not take that in. Don't be disturbed by that and just say, you know, limit your conversation with them. So that's what I've been doing and it's been helpful. So, um, Many things we learn in Al-Anon add up to this. Good to yourself. That's why we can give it to others as well. So that's the reading for today. I'll go ahead and let's say the serenity prayer. I'm grateful that you guys are here and I see that there are some new subscribers. So welcome. And um, uh, I'll get back on the ball of reading the, the Course in Miracles and um, yeah, I just wanted to come jump on here while I was in the kitchen. I said, you know what, good, good lighting. And right before a meeting, I'm going to go ahead and put this in because I needed this reading today for my sake. And I'm grateful to be able to give that out. So, all right, here we go. Let's take a nice deep breath in and out. Have a moment of silence for the still sick and suffering. God. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So God's will be done. Amen. Keep coming back. It works if you work it, and you're worth it. I love you.